So uh, how long have you been in the business now? Going on 27 years. 27 years. Yeah. Okay. And you were how old when you started? 20. 20. Okay. Now, you started out originally as a performer. Yeah. Okay. And so at, at 20 years old, you jumped in the business. Now, this was a very different type of business back then. This was before Viagra, before Cialis, before any of that stuff. Right. So it was safe to say that the, that the guys back then were a little bit different than the guys today. Yeah. Like, what's really different about the business when you started and, and now? The difference between the business today and the 80s, mm -hmm. you know, is a whole world of difference. In the 1980s, it was very underground, right? Mm -hmm. Very underground, and the people kept it a very small circle. Yeah. And getting in porno, very difficult. Yeah. For, to make it in porno is very difficult, but to get into porno is so difficult, but then when you get there, if you don't do well, you're done instantly, you're out. Okay. The guys in those days actually weren't hookers. <laughs> they like girls, they love pussy. You had to love pussy back in those days, otherwise you're done. You can't be a faker. You can't be a Viagra queen, you know? <laughs> a bitch, whatever. You had to be a real motherfucker, you know, who likes pussy, not a fruit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it, a circle, a small circle of guys always rotated, you know, in, in the movies because those are the only guys that could do the job, real performers. Like, who, who were some of the guys that were kind of in the business at the time that you got in? Well, the famous Peter North, you know? Yeah. He's a cool guy. Mm -hmm. I was a fan of his. Yeah. Before I got into business, we became good friends. He used to call me his little brother. Okay. I'll kick his ass, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, you know, Joey Silvera, you know, well-known, great. He was a very good performer. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Mark Wallace, Tom Byron, mm -hmm. John Doe, Randy Spears, Randy West. Those were the main guys of rotation, you know, as far as, you know, a little bit of soul. There was Ray, Ray. Victory. Ray Victory. Ray Victory, and you know, I knew mm -hmm. him. He's a nice guy, but he was on his way out when I got in. Mm -hmm. And along came Shawn Michaels, took his spot. Right. Shawn Michaels was a black performer as well. Mm -hmm. Was uh, John Holmes around at the time that you got in? He was dead. He was dead. Mm -hmm. He died of AIDS. Yeah, he died in prison. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. But he was like the first like porn, male porn superstar. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. From what, you know, I wasn't watching his movies. I, I didn't really see him too much. So yeah, from what the people say, he was the guy. Okay. So 27 years ago to now, you've had sex with how many different women? It has to be over 10,000. 10,000 women. It has to be. Because we recently interviewed uh, Lex Steele, and Lex said that he's had sex with about 5,000 women. How many women do you think you've had sex with in the course of your life? Um, I would have to say maybe 5,000. But he did say in his interview, and you watched this interview because I remember I sent it to you, yeah. um, that at the time that he first started, there was still a little bit of like exclusion in the porn industry where like certain white girls wouldn't you know wouldn't have sex with black guys on camera and so forth whereas you you're 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 Hispanic but you you look white so therefore he said that you actually had access to pretty much everybody in TT boy's career he was able to do um, 100% of black girls and 100% of white girls whereas in my case I'm limited to 100% of the ethnic women, but only the percentage of, of white women who do interracial. So my numbers are not going to compare to TT boys. But um, and, it, and and the reason why I played down the number um, to about five thousand is if I, I'm, I'm going to be dead up with you. Can right. you imagine five thousand people? How many people that really, really is? Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different complications going on, but yeah, I was a performer who wanted to work. I was a performer who could do five scenes a day, you know? And I don't think uh, any other performer could do that. So, th so that might be true in different aspects, but to do the work I've done, you gotta be a killer. Five scenes a day, I could do, you know, 20 to 25 days a month, day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out. You would do five scenes a day with five different girls? I mean, not every day, but I'm saying it could be done, but the average for me to work was two to four scenes a day. And it's not one girl in a scene. Sometimes it's one girl, sometimes it's two girls, sometimes it's three girls in a scene. But I have done scenes before when there was 30 girls and just me. You know, and seven girls and me, a lot of fives and sevens with me. Okay, but what was the most number of scenes you've done in one day? Five. Five scenes, okay. So most men couldn't do that. You're wired just a little bit differently than, than most human beings. Most performers, <laughs> not, no performers could do that, really. Okay. Of all the good, strong performers that came around. Like, like a strong could performer could do how many, how many scenes? Two is common, three starts getting difficult, four is not gonna happen. And you would do five? I could do five, I've done five. You've done five? Mm -hmm. So, how does that 10,000 number come together? It's an average. Okay. You know, you have to average it out. Obviously, I can't name them one by one. Sure. <laughs> but one time I was in a certain position you know, I think I was locked up, I was counting down 500, you know. But anyways, let's, <laughs> we can do it like this. You can say, as an actor, right, I would do sometimes five scenes a day when I got mm -hmm. really rolling, you know. Mm -hmm. But mostly, you know, two to four scenes a day. So if you say two to four scenes a day, and usually 20 to maybe even 30 days a month, sometimes I might work every single day, Okay. right. And so if you averaged out one to three girls in a scene, you know, that would be, let's say, split it in half. You know, one and a half. Let's say three scenes, right? So that's five girls a day. Okay. Right? Times. Let's make it. Let's make it easy. Let's just make it low, because it's a low ball. Ten thousand is a low ball number. Okay. You know, because I'm a straight up motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right. So then five, you say five girls a day. Five, no, no, no. That, yeah, five girls. Three to five girls a day. 20 days a month, right? So let's just, let's just say. 100 girls a let's month. Let's just say, just, what, 60 or 70 girls a month, just to make it even lower than the truth. Real low, you know what I mean? Way lower than the truth. Okay, so let's so say 60 girls a month. Six, 720, right? Times 12. Right, and how many years I've been in the business? So that puts me, really, it could put me at 15,000 or more. At that rate, you'd be at 19,440 girls. Right. And, you know, in my office, after I stopped being a regular performer, you know, I r ran my company. And in my office, in my lobby, sometimes there's 20 to 30 girls every day waiting to get in to see me so they could get some work. Right. And you know, I'm a performer. <laughs> and I'm a motherfucker, I'll fuck, you know what I mean? So, of course, there was a casting couch. Right. So you're talking one to six or seven girls a day. You know, so for what? forever. You know, we used to produce 20 movies a month. So you can imagine, so you put those th numbers together, 10,000 is a very low number. Because Will Chamberlain is known for throwing out the 20,000 number. Se 16 or 17, I guess, that's what I heard. Well, he said he, he, has, he had sex with over 20,000 women. Okay. But he was also a basketball player. He wasn't like a, a porn star or anything else like that. He actually had a regular job. This is pretty much all you do. Yeah, sex is my business. So 10,000 is the number you're going to go with. 10,000 is solid, 10,000. It could be 15,000, but we say... 10,000, you know it's 10,000 easily. So do you think you've had sex with more, more people than any living human being right now? 
I'm sure is in the very, you know, the top tier, <laughs> the top .001%, I'm guessing. Are you, who else would be in this category? My story, you know, and what I've done and who I, you know, the whole rotation of the whole 27 years is unlike anybody else's. So the, you know, and my strength of fucking, you know what I mean? Of nonstop, like I could fuck 12 hours a day, no problem. You know, and I had parties where I fucked 50 hours, a, you know, straight. So you had, you had sex for two and a half days nonstop? With just a bottle of water. <laughs> How many girls? Uh, they wear them out, you know, it's hard to say. Because, you know, some, that's a little different situation. So, you know, it's maybe four or five, maybe six, you know, maybe okay. two. Who knows who can hang? So, and this is a completely natural thing. This is, you, you don't take Viagra, you don't take any supplements. No, I'm from the original days. There's no such thing. If you're not a real performer, you're done. Okay. You're out. You have to, you have, to have skill. And you have to like girls. You can't be a, a hooker, a guy hooker, you know, some liar who thinks he's a performer. He's not really, you're not really a performer. You think you are, you're nothing to me. <laughs> right, because, I mean, not only do you have to have sex with whoever they throw in front of you, right? You, you don't get to choose the girls in porn. You show up to set, they throw whoever they feel like throwing in front of you. A lot of, most of the time, but when you get to a higher level, you, yeah. you can say something. But, but in the beginning, yeah, you I definitely, have you have no say. No, no fat chicks, you know, I, <laughs> I, draw, I drew that line. You drew that line. Fat, fat, you know what I mean? Okay. BBW, that looks good, yeah, no problem. Okay. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I had to fuck old ladies, I had to fuck, you know, whatever. I was a <laughs> destroyer, so I could, no problem. What, what, what was the oldest woman you ever had sex with? She was probably 60-something. 60 60-something. 60 yeah, I mean, that wasn't super old, but I was 21 or something. That's pretty old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. And have you ever had a scene? Because, you know, in, in porn, you can't just have sex. You have to have the cum shot. You have to have the money shot. Was there ever a time where you actually couldn't come? Never. Not once? Never. You've never had a girl you sat, where you just, you just were not attracted to her. You just were not feeling her. That, of course, I've had... Thou no, not thousands, but as a performer, probably 500 to 1,000 girls, or maybe more that I wasn't attracted to. No, not my, that's why some people said I was, you know, uh, the best performer. Some people, not me. But um, yeah, because I had great concentration, I could focus out. Yeah, but there was hundreds and hundreds of girls I wasn't attracted to. Right. And what, what would be like the reason you weren't attracted to them? You know, like the way they look, like the way they smell, you know? Pussy's big. That makes you really less attracted to them when you stick your dick in there and you get a big cavern, <laughs> right? And you can't feel nothing, you know? And that's one reason she becomes real ugly. Okay. But you were still able to actually perform on camera. Yes. And you're talking about not only are you there with the girl, there's the cameraman. And back then there were bigger crews, there were lighting, there were... Like, like how, how big were, were the crews back then? I mean, we shot film. Yeah, you know, So the exactly. crews were... Average crew is probably six or seven people up your ass, you know what I mean? Right. But guys? Big, yeah, guys, you know. Yeah. But a big set, you know, sometimes they stick you on a stage and a whole audience and, you know, so that gets kind of rough, you know what I mean? But So that could be 50 people. I've been on sets where 50 people are there watching all the eyes on you, maybe more. And you're still able to perform? Yes. So this is why people called you the greatest performer of all time? One of them, or yeah, some people, yeah. I'm not gonna take away from some wonderful performers out there. But why would Dre put me in it? Okay. I mean, cause if they start from where they start from, I was just a quiet girlfriend who got beat up and told to sit down and shut up. Me, personally, I do as well because, I mean, even to this day, none of his kids, none of his baby mamas, his mistresses, anybody, nobody has came up with HIV or nothing like that. So, I mean, just, just rationally thinking, something, something had to go on.